Hi everybody, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you for joining us. Well, we've had more rain around Canterbury, all caused by a similar setup to what we saw a month ago, although a much weaker version of it. Here's the culprit, another low pressure system dragging down that subtropical air, pushing it in as rain. That's what we saw yesterday, Monday. Now we're into Tuesday, the low is moving out to sea and we've got a much drier airflow for Canterbury, although we do have showers now returning to the west coast and more downpours for the north. But notice what's happening further to the west. It's a nor'wester coming in, and that is what is on the way for Wednesday and Thursday. Warmer weather coming in before a colder change for the weekend for some parts of the country, mostly the South Island. So this is how we look for lunchtime Wednesday. High pressure dominates to the north. That affects Northland and maybe Auckland to some degree. Bay of Plenty and Gisborne are probably more likely to get the benefits of it. On the western side, we've still got showers and they continue along uh, the western areas all the way from Auckland right down to Fiordland. Eastern areas, you're much drier still. And as the day goes on, in come these windy, warm nor'westers. So the temperatures are about to go up and they'll probably be up for Wednesday night and then again into Thursday. Uh, more rain coming in. And then on the eastern side, more wind, and that will actually help dry things out. It'll be blustery, uh, we'll have gales in some areas, but hopefully below the damaging threshold, although I've got to say, these isobars here are getting squashed together a fair bit, so there could be some wind warnings issued as a result of that. There might even be some rain warnings as well. And then we end the week on Friday with a complicated setup as we go in towards the weekend. So our warm weather continues for some areas, especially the North Island's east coast, maybe even the South Island's east coast will be mild, highs getting up into the uh, late teens. Rain returns on the west coast, but look, low pressure all in here, that's central low pressure there, that's another center there. So as we go on towards the weekend, we're going to be seeing more rain coming over into the Canterbury area. Now this is just a very generalized Canterbury forecast, but the areas we're focused on uh, around Saturday and Sunday, they're talking about 20 millimeters of rain. For some areas, we've seen numbers between 10 and 40 millimeters. So again, this weekend, a slightly higher chance of rain into the Canterbury area, but it is not straightforward because this is the Saturday setup. And as you can see, low pressure stretched out here in the Tasman. There's more low pressure down here. So look, Canterbury, um, according to this map, I mean, these change a little bit every day though, uh, it is looking mostly dry, but there could be some spillover and there might also be, if this low changes shape a wee bit, we might see that rain curving back around as we've seen a number of times over the last few months. So hopefully it's not going to be a problematic weekend for Canterbury. Hopefully most of the rain well, I don't say hopefully, but I, I guess I hope it's more in the North Island. Uh, but really, we don't want any more rain, but that's what we've got. Another low coming in for the weekend, and that is your Saturday. We'll update you again, obviously, on Wednesday. We'll get more fine-tuned about the weekend. We'll keep a focus on Canterbury and everywhere else. I know many, many of you are getting sick of the rain. We're seeing that in the polls that we're running on our website. So we'll update you again on Wednesday with the latest on all of this. <laughs>